subtraction of vectors subtraction of vectors it is nothing but adding the negative of one vector to the another vector suppose if we want p bar minus q bar that means if you want to subtract q bar from p bar that is p bar minus q bar if you want to subtract q bar from p bar then it is written as p bar minus q bar so take minus q bar take minus q bar and add minus q bar to p bar then we will get the vector p bar minus q bar then we will get the vector p bar minus q bar so first take minus q bar vector draw the minus q bar vector i have shown here p bar and q bar and then at the middle i have shown minus q bar vector now construct p bar vector that is written as oc that is written as oc c is head of the vector p bar at c construct minus q bar vector construct the vector minus q bar at the at the point c at the head of p bar at that is at c then join the origin of p bar tail of p bar to the head of minus q bar to the head of minus q bar then we will get p bar minus q bar so it is nothing but adding minus q bar to p bar p bar minus q bar is nothing but adding minus q bar to p bar subtraction of vectors let us construct q bar minus p bar let us construct q bar minus p bar to construct q bar minus p bar first let us construct minus p bar it is shown at the middle of this slide minus p bar is constructed first then construct q bar q bar is constructed as q bar is constructed as od the vector od represents q bar it has same direction and magnitude o is tail d is head of q bar so at the head of q bar attach the tail of minus p bar so minus p bar is constructed at the head of q bar so tail of minus p bar is constructed at d then the vector obtained by joining the tail of q bar and head of minus p bar is q bar minus p bar the vector o2 the tail of minus p bar gives q bar minus p bar vector q bar minus p bar vector now this is q bar minus p bar this is how we construct q bar minus p bar that means we add minus p bar to q bar then we will get q bar minus p bar if we compare the figures of p bar minus q bar and q bar minus p bar we notice them to be of same magnitude but opposite in direction such a pair of vectors are called anti parallel vectors anti parallel vectors if the directions are opposite and magnitudes are equal anti parallel vectors so p bar minus q bar is not equal to q bar minus p bar the vector p bar minus q bar is not equal to the vector q bar minus p bar but the magnitude of p bar minus q bar is equal to the magnitude of q bar minus p bar the magnitude is indicated at the right of p bar minus q bar is not equal to q bar minus p bar if the vector is represented between two vertical lines then it represents the magnitude of the vector so p bar minus q bar magnitude is equal to q bar minus p bar but the directions are not equal hence they are not equal vectors but their magnitudes are equal